Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. We just have a ton of work to do to get these uh, blanket chests done and hopefully in one video. So to help with that off camera, I went ahead and made the lid panels. Uh, the, it's done exactly the same way as the side panels. It's you know, just a little different size. So there was nothing new to see there. I also went ahead and milled up uh, the breadboard ends and got those to final size uh, ready for this. All this material over here is the base material. Um, and most of the material is, is milled, but inside the actual base with the hidden drawer, I don't quite know how I'm gonna get all that together yet. Uh, there's still a few details that I'm working out. Um, so it's just enough to get around the actual base for each one of the cases. But for now, we're gonna start on these lids. I'm gonna go put the dado stack in and we're gonna go ahead and create the tongue on each one of these panels. Uh, and then we'll come back and create the groove and the breadboard ends. Uh, my goal here is, is to keep these flat. So I want, I'd like to get these breadboard ends on just as quickly as possible. So I will see you over at the table saw uh, where we're gonna create the tongue. All right, I've got my sacrificial fence set up. I've got my dado stack in set for about a half inch. I'm looking for a half inch tongue. Um, and I'm also looking for a half inch thick tongue. And I ran a test piece here just to make sure. And this was an off cut from this exact panel. So I know that that's good. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get, get these tongues cut on both panels. And then we'll move on to the breadboard ends. Okay, so now I've got to take roughly a half inch off of each one of these so that the breadboard end will fit as it should. And this doesn't have to be exact. I just don't want to nick that shoulder. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is just uh, try to use this shoulder flat on my chisel and pair that little leftover there that I left away. Okay, so I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I have a start and a stop mark uh, set up. I'm running a dual edge guide, and the distance is set so that I'm flush on that bottom. So I'm gonna run a full plunge at the front and a full plunge at the back, and then I'm gonna route the, the actual dado in two passes. So next up, all I'm gonna do is, is square these corners off and get them ready to, to test fit on that groove. Okay, my marks are probably hard to see uh, on camera, but I do have start and stop points for everything. And I've set this up for center and all I got to do is just move down the line on the hollow chisel mortiser. Um, I've also set a depth stop, so that's what we're going to do next. So next up, I'm just I'm eyeballing center uh, for a pilot drill. I got a one-eighth bit 
in the drill press and I've set the fence and I'm just going to cruise through and get get all these centers on here and then I'll put them on the actual top and locate the center from there. Okay, so I've dry fit the breadboard ends on. I've set up the same bit that I had in the drill press in a handheld drill. And all I'm gonna do is mark those locations and then I'll transfer them over and drill them to length. It's just a matter of uh, driving the screws. I did put just a little bit of glue here in the middle, um, but the rest of this will be able to expand and contract. And I went back and oversized these outer holes as well so that this panel can expand and contract. So next up is the mitered frame. Uh, that goes in the base of each one of these um, and this is to help build up and step out that base a little bit so I'm gonna go get set up at the table saw and we're gonna start cutting miters Okay, there's a good dry fit. I'm super happy with how they closed up. Um, so all I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these up and then I'm going to move over and start cutting strips. Uh, they go in the bottom of the case all the way around just to give a little extra meat to screw this frame down to. Okay, so the strips are uh, all glued on here. They're just uh, leftover scrap that I had and I cut it to, to fit and I left a little gap uh, just so it wasn't sitting dead on the floor. Um, but they, it is flush with the bottom. I may have to clean it up a little, but it's pretty good. So I uh, got to let this one cure and then move all my small clamps over to this one and get it done while the miter frames are still drying. So uh, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so on to the base and it's time to cut those fingers first. I know that these are, these lines are kind of hard to see, um, but I'll set up stop blocks at the table saw and I'll get all these knocked out there. Okay, so I got the finger notches all cut and they turned out great. Um, I'm happy with those. And we're gonna get over to the bench next and start rounding off these fingers uh, just like we did those fingers. Um, and unfortunately, you know, life kinda bit me in the backside a little bit here and I just got a call and I am heading out very soon for work again. Um, so I'm going to be omitting that quote unquote secret drawer in the in the base here now my my goal on that was to actually put it in the front um, and I had actually milled some lumber to, to get going that direction but uh, you know it is what it is so 
these are both gifts and so the the drawer wasn't expected from them anyway so uh, it, it's not the end of the earth but we're going to get going and and get these things put together we still have a lot of work to do um, and i'd like to get these finished up before i go okay before we go rounding off all the corners i need to go ahead and get the plugs cut in the fingers and i'm going to do that here at the hollow chisel mortiser Okay, so there we go. I got, I got the cleats put on the insides of these, pretty much just like I did on the inside of the boxes. Um, it gives me a, a screw surface uh, to attach the bases. I was really hoping to get this fit into two videos, but we just, we just have too much work left to do. Um, in the next video, we'll get after the plugs, we'll get after the finish, and we'll get after the hinges. Um, and get these things wrapped up. So until then, guys, take care.